Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Scott-Akataya of JSA, and this is your monthly news headlines as fast as I can make it. Um, also, if you want the full story, go ahead and click on the logo over my shoulder, get the complete headline there. All right, American Towers, let's begin. Closing its latest acquisition, acquiring data site, adding two more data centers, locations to its growing portfolio of world-class polo facilities. Now American Tower manages and operates data site facilities in Atlanta and Orlando, totaling nine American Tower data centers now nationally. Data Bank literally laying the groundwork for its fifth data center in the New York City metro area, announcing the acquisition of 34 acres in Orangeburg, New York. The acreage will augment capacity to meet the accelerating demand for mission critical IT infrastructure, a very densely populated metro area. Lightpath delivering on its promise to enable enterprises to get to their digital destinations. The company announcing a new all fiber network in Princeton, New Jersey. The network can, will consist of 54 miles of new fiber, now connecting more than 400 Princeton area enterprises, educators, and government groups soon. Setting news there. All right, Redline Communications, securing multiple contract wins in the Middle East oil and gas sector, with award-winning technology and industrial-grade mission-critical solutions, Redline is partnering with enterprises to deploy safe, reliable, secure, and cost-effective digital oil fields. In related news, Redline and its partner Wincom Technologies have been selected to provide private industrial LTE solution for precision metals mine in northern Nevada. Redline's ILTE solution gives reliable, high-performance wireless connectivity and real-time control of sensors and applications, critical to operations there. Having just recently announced the industry's first fully automated bid management capability, Connected to Fiber is now launching the industry's first assured near net service. That means they're taking the quality and reliability of data used in our right-of-way calculation to a new level, including guaranteeing accuracy of up to five nines with SLAs placed on a real world execution associated with each lateral. As we continue to work from home, and yeah, <laughs> I know I am, we all require a secure remote access environments. KDDI and now KDDI America launching global provisioning of Cato Cloud, a service providing high quality, zero trust, secure remote work environments. Congrats. Making waves again in the optical networking space, Precision OT's Advanced Engineering Group has acquired nine patents from the US Patent and Trademark Office in their areas of optical networking, integrated photonics, photonic radio sy systems, many more pending, it's craziness. This in-house engineering team developing innovative solutions that help providers reduce costs while future-proofing their networks. Congrats, Precision OT. And I love the story. Go ahead and check out this great article spotlighting Edge Connects, Salute Mission Critical, our friends at iMasons, just to name a few, who are working creatively together to solve for the people shortage in our data center industry. That's right. Uptime Institute predicts that from now until 2025, the global data center workforce will need 300,000 new members. And this doesn't even take into account the large number of retirements of existing workers. So Click here for more on the positive collaborations that are driving much needed change and changing lives in our industry. And get ready for a new brand reveal. 1623 Farnham, a regional leader force in network neutral edge interconnection in data center services, has just announced a rebrand of its hosted peering exchange, Omaha IX. Omaha IX is the premier Midwest internet exchange strategically located in the central US and hosted at the 1623 Farnham Edge Data Center. Edge Presence is one of the very first two companies in the US to successfully complete the Edge Data Center certification program. This new standard developed by OpenIX is designed to increase transparency through the development of common frameworks to increase access, improve performance and advance community objectives. Congrats, guys. And another great addition to the NJFX ecosystem, NJFX welcomes Canadian telecom company Eastlink, who has now deployed its fiber optic network ring at the NJFX cable landing station campus, connecting to New Jersey, New York Metro, to Toronto and Montreal. Zenlayer, a leading global edge, 
cloud service provider today announces it has been accepted into the Amazon Web Services Independent Software Vendor Accelerate Program, allowing Zenlayer and AWS to collaboratively provide customers with enhanced connectivity to cloud services on a global scale. Big news there. And big news for BDX, Asia Pacific's premier data center, Polo, and hybrid cloud solutions provider. The company's all new Nanjing data center, NKG1, is the latest recipient of the very prestigious Model Data Center for New Digital Infrastructure in the Yangtze River Delta Region Award. Very prestigious. Uh, this designation was presented by the China Communications Industry Association and the IDC Circle Committee. So really one of China's most prestigious awards. Congratulations, guys. And congrats to Light River. Its Alien Aware Networking Solution picked up yet another industry recognition. We got it. It's the win in the 2021 Pipeline Innovations Award for customer experience. And knowing these guys, customer experience being core to their DNA, congrats, Light River. Also check out the latest episode of Data Movers, an industry podcast profiling the top movers and shakers in the network infrastructure. This time, Christopher Lodge, COO and interim CEO of United Fiber and Data, in the hot seat, UFD, of course, a premier fiber provider in the Northeast US. Lodge shares big milestones for the company, industry trends he's seeing, and his favorite fall food that may surprise you. So go ahead, click here to listen in. And if you're heading to Channel Partners Conference and Expo in Vegas next week, check out Thrive's CEO, Rob Stevenson, who will be a featured speech speaker several times over. And is one of his keynote presentations, he's exploring the ways MSPs are dealing with and adjusting to emerging trends. And then Thursday, November 4th, tune into Horizon's virtual roundtable on business DIA versus broadband. This roundtable brings together an esteemed panel of experts to weigh in why dedicated internet access is not just for large enterprises anymore and key fiber connectivity factors to assess. Go ahead and click here to register. And cool news right here at home, I co-authored a book entitled The X Factor. Proud to say it's an Amazon bestseller. Go ahead and check out my Q&A. I was asked what the drivers are for writing this chapter now. And go ahead and download the book. Proceeds from the book launch goes to Gone, a student-led organization helping children battling cancer and their families. So a good story to fully all around. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Your monthly news headlines as quick as we can make them. Please all keep safe and as always, happy networking.